Hey guys, I'm Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about how stress can affect your physical body and your physical health. So I wanted to talk about this today because I think so often we think about how stress can impact our mental health, but sometimes I think we don't realize how much of a toll it can take on us physically. So that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this topic today. So if you guys have been watching my YouTube content or reading my blog post for a while, you probably know that I talk a lot about the mind-body connection and how everything within us is connected. So that's no different when we look at stress and how it relates to the physical body, they're both gonna be connected. Because everything is so inter interconnected, we actually have so much power over our own healing. So just because we kind of talk about these things, how you know pain can affect the mind or how stress can affect the physical body, sometimes I think it sounds like, oh, everything's connected and it makes it seem like this is a bad thing. No, this is a good thing because we have so much more power over our healing because we can use our mind to help heal our body or we can use our body to help heal our mind. It gives us more power over our own healing. Okay, so now that I went on my little, you know, rampage or rampage, rant there, now we're gonna talk about how stress does impact the physical body. So these may be more negative things, but just remember what I just said on how we can use the power of this connection for healing. So even though we're talking about the way that stress negatively impacts the body, we can still use our minds to help positively impact our body. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about some physiological changes that could happen. So when you're under a prolonged state of stress, this could lead to things like an increase in your blood pressure, it may increase your heart rate, a hormone called cortisol will be released more, and these kinds of things are really supposed to happen when we're in a state of fight or flight. When you're in a prolonged state of stress, your body is constantly in this fight or flight state. So these things kind of change in our bodies, like our blood pressure gets elevated, the heart rate gets elevated. These things are okay, like it's okay for your blood pressure and heart rate to rise when you are in a situation where you do want to run from something or you need to fight something, and it's okay for this to happen for a short time. But when this becomes our more constant state, when you're in this constant state of stress, this is when it's gonna have a negative impact on things like the cardiovascular system. And this is because our body is not meant to be in a continuous state of fight or flight or stress. Our body is supposed to mostly be living in a more restful state. Okay, so the second thing that constant stress can kind of do to our physical body is increase muscle tightness which may not sound as scary as cardiovascular issues, but I'm still guessing it's probably something that you don't want to deal with. When we feel stressed out, most of us will hold a certain area of the body in a state of tension. So some of the most common areas are the upper traps are very common that people tend to be um, tense or tight in the upper traps when they feel stressed. Some people hold their jaw tense. Um, it's also not uncommon that people deal with tightness in the pelvic floor and pelvic pain when they're stressed out. So these are just some examples. It could be really any area of the body that you may hold your tension. But the problem that occurs is when you're holding these muscles in a state of tension for a prolonged time. This could kind of throw off the balance in the musculoskeletal system. So if you're holding one muscle tight for a while, the opposing muscle is going to start to get weak if this is held for a long time. So it really just throws off the balance in the body. And if we're throwing off the balance in the body or in the musculoskeletal system over time, this could lead to things like injury or chronic pain, things like that. So the way I kind of think about this example is when we're holding tension in our minds, so tension being stress, we will hold tension somewhere else in our body. So somewhere else in the muscles will be holding tension. So that's that connection that we're talking about, the mind-body connection. But again, the good news is that we can train our minds to relax and to let go of that stress. And in turn, then we can allow the muscles in the body to relax. I do have a video that teaches you how to use your breath to relax certain parts of your body. So that kind of relates to what we're talking about here. So I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Another change in the body that can happen with stress is changes in your GI, gastrointestinal system, or your bowel function, bowel health. So the way I kind of like to go over this 
is one, if you've ever heard of that gut brain connection, which I feel like is being talked a lot talked about a lot more, you probably kind of understand how stress could impact your gut and your GI system. But think about it this way. So some people when they're really stressed out will want to eat a lot or some people when they're really stressed out don't want to eat anything at all. Nothing actually happened to change their appetite in the GI system, but the stress basically changed their appetite, so that's how stress can impact the GI system and the gut and the bowel. And the last thing that I have for you on how stress can impact your physical health is it can weaken your immune system. So maybe you've experienced that before where you've been really stressed out and you keep say catching like a common cold and normally you don't get sick before but when you're stressed then you keep catching this cold. That's because stress can actually weaken your immune system. So after we talked about all this you're probably like well I'm screwed, I'm always stressed out, and this is gonna impact my physical health. And just because I'm going over all of this doesn't mean I expect you to never experience stress. Stress is always going to come up in our lives. We're only human, we cannot eliminate all stress. And it's okay, our body is meant to handle stress in small doses. So that's kind of the key there. We don't want our stress to be drawn out and prolonged. That's when it's gonna start to cause physical problems. We want to be able to manage our stress when it comes up and bring it back down because like I said, our body can handle stress in small doses and in short bouts. So this is why it's so important to have stress management techniques in place. So I have plenty of resources on my blog, on my YouTube channel that are all about stress management. A lot of what I do is yoga based, meditation, breath work. Um, that's how I like to manage stress and that's my specialty. So that's what I share with you guys here. So feel free to look through my content on suggestions or on ideas on how to manage your stress. But this may be very personalized to you. Like maybe you really enjoy artwork or drawing and then when you draw that's when you feel like you're able to decrease your stress. So this may be very individualized and very specific to you but what is important is for you to take the time to find what is going to help you to decrease your stress and this might be a learning process so it might take you some time to try out different things and see what works best. So my personal Favorite is, you probably could already guess, is meditation. That really helps me to manage my stress and doing different yoga practices. I'll put a link to my free seven day yoga experience in the description down below because that's a good way to experience. So yoga is more than just working through physical practices. So in my seven day yoga experience, it gives you different aspects of yoga so you could find what works for you and what helps you to manage your stress. So I'll put a link to that below. But I want you guys to remember that you do have the power to make this change and you can work with this mind body connection for good and for healing. So the last thing before I sign off that I wanted to share with you guys is that I'm super excited because yesterday I released my two courses. So it really was one course and I released one meditation series. So I released a meditation series that gives you seven guided meditations to help you to facilitate self-healing. And then I also released a course that teaches you how to use yoga to take control back from chronic pain. So if you've been dealing with chronic pain, that course really gives you the framework on how to use yoga to take control of it, how to use yoga to facilitate self-healing when dealing with chronic pain, and really goes over holistic, natural ways to help you to feel better, decrease your pain, and take control back of your life. So both of those will be linked in the description down below so you can check those out read more about them uh, i'm really excited that they're finally completed i definitely put a lot of time and effort into them and i'm really happy that they're done and i think that they can help you make really amazing transformational changes so yeah that's all for me for today. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right below me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.